that I'm singing My soul is washed with water from on high Love is all around me, love my heart, it binds me But oh, if you leave me, I will die Rock me in your arms till the storms of life are over Rock me in the cradle of your love My name is Brooks Williams, and I'm a roots blues guitarist. I was born in Statesboro, Georgia, USA, and uh, came into my music uh, professionally in Boston and New York. And uh, I love the roots, I love the blues. Yeah, that's what I do. the storms of life are over, rock me in the cradle of your love. I have two older brothers who had records. I, I didn't have records. I didn't have any sense to have records. But they had, you know, a social life. They were teenagers and they knew what was going on. And I remember hearing John Mayle. I remember being very young and hearing John Mayle play on a, on a recording. And I also heard a, uh, a, a group called Hot Tuna which was a spin-off from Jefferson Airplane. It was the bluesy spin-off from Jefferson Airplane. And they had recordings of that, and I really liked it. Till I want no I much preferred the sound of a finger-picked acoustic guitar. I liked the sound of the acoustic slide guitar. And whenever I would hear a recording by, say, the Allman Brothers or whoever, whatever rock band it might have been, when they had the acoustic track, that was the one that I liked the most. And so I was drawn to the acoustic guitar. And I think looking back now, I, th I think the acoustic guitar rocks. It really rocks. It doesn't rock in the hands of everyone, but because it's kind of like a drum and it has strings on it, you can play it like a drum, but you can get chords, you can get leads out of it if you know how to dig into it. To me, it is the perfect, you know, it's got a little bit of a piano sound because it has that thick mid-range the way a piano does. And to me, it was the best of all worlds. It's a curse to love it's a curse to love a gambling man It's a curse to love a gambling man It's a curse to love a gambling man He sang like a bird in a buckeye tree But that singing bird did not fool Well, the funny thing was, I, I didn't realize it was called blues because I'm of that generation that when you listen to the radio, they played everything. They, they played all sorts of music. And, and it was really strange, like, we didn't call it things. You know, if it was country, we didn't say, oh, this is a country song. It was just, well, this is a kind of a, there's a country thing going on, but it's not country, it's this band. And, uh, but it was when I realized that in the terms of some of the blues bands uh, and the rock blues, they didn't write those songs. Someone said to me, uh, you know, that's an older song. And I would be like, oh, well, who wrote it? Well, where'd it come from? So that started the search back. And of course, this was pre-internet, because I'm of that generation. So you had to go to the library. You had to look up names. You had to go to a record shop and ask questions. Maybe someone could order you something. Maybe you'd have to order it from Europe, or maybe you'd have to order it from New York, or maybe a friend had it. And you, it was this long, involved process. It took so long, but it was worth every second because you'd find the original. And I found Sister Rosetta Tharp because some record label, I don't even remember which one, decided to put out the Sister Rosetta Tharp records. I walked into my local record shop and saw this amazing looking woman like in a choir robe playing a Gibson SG electric. And I went, oh, 
that's interesting. And、uh, I bought it based on the photograph, and I'm so glad I did. What a, what a great recording that turned out to be. The story I like the most is the story that is honest. It talks about successes, but it talks about shortcomings, maybe failures, mistakes, dead end roads, open highways, and I feel like we all need to understand that life is never just one thing. And when when I do a concert. I I try to create a full color range, a full spectrum of emotions. You know, some are just you know downright you know sweaty and sexy and great, and you love that as a party. But you know that you you, you can't live that way 24/7. So some of it is is more introspective. It's more thoughtful. Some of it is is is、uh, is. Speaking love toward family or friends, or some of it speaking love for a partner and、uh, sexy love, but 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 all of it is telling a a story. And sometimes we talk about politics. We talk about、uh, sometimes we sing about、uh, the way the world works. And、uh, and blues, I find blues music and roots music particularly speaks to all those aspects. And it, it feels like it's a complete portrait. So I try to present that. And I'm I'm really lucky that I get to do this. I, I've been doing it for more than 30 years. I'm so lucky that this is my life, and that I get to keep working on the story. And may that never end until till I go. <laughs> I'm going to New Orleans. Tell everyone I say goodbye. I I feel incredibly lucky. I mean, I have, like all of us, we have we have good days and bad days, but I feel very fortunate to do what I do, and I feel that with even within the blues, even within the heartbreak, there's hope, and I don't know how the original blues masters did that, but they did. They created music that was about struggle and suffering, but. It also, I always heard, there was a little thread of of hope that there would be change, and and I find that powerful. That's a powerful message. I'm going to New Orleans. 